Tony, Tony, Tony. What can I say? I think Janika said it best last week when we were playing Pictionary, and she said that it just wouldn't be the same without you. And I totally agree. You've brought us a lot of laughs and sometimes confusion about your drawings. But what I wanted to share today was some keen observations that I've had regarding your Pictionary skills. I noticed that you're often on the odd team. That you, I don't know if that means anything, and there's nothing wrong with being on the odd team, but, but it's just something that I wanted to mention that I noticed. The other thing I wanted to say is I'm not really sure where your talents lie. Is it with animals or people? We're going to pull up a couple of your drawings, and we're going to survey the people in the finance department to see what their thoughts are and if they can even venture a guess at what these drawings are. Police Pictionary Skills. Um, they're really good. His best, I think his best Pictionary asset would be um, guessing. His, his guessing is, is definitely top of the line. He can guess anything that, uh, that anyone puts up there. Now his drawing skills, they're, um, they're, they're, they're there. <laughs> they're, um, they're, they're not that, that great, but with good teamwork, we can guess, we can guess what he's doing. I would definitely say Tom's Pictionary skills are uh, very creative, very outlandish. Um, show gives you a window into uh, how his mind thinks. I think, Tony, dude, I think your talents for Pictionary sucks, but <laughs> mine do too, so <laughs> don't get too pissed off with me about the comment. Tony, your Pictionary skills show you have imagination and creativity and that you can think outside the box. Well, I think <clears throat> Tony's pictures really suck, honestly. But he's not the worst drawer, but he's definitely not the best. But he's okay, I guess. Um, of Tony's drawings, I think they're very unique and detailed. Um, you really like to sketch as opposed to just drawing a straight line and, and drawing it. And, and you really put a lot of thought into what it is that you're drawing. And I think that's very good, but sometimes you can go overboard and just, instead of making it simple, you go really out there. Drawings? You call those drawings? Seriously, dude. You put a lot of time and effort in a 60 second drawing. Sometimes it's hard to distinguish which one is an animal, which one's a person. I'm drawing animals uh, because... Oh, well, actually I don't think you can draw either one. Animals or people. So the people, it's really easy. It's just the stick figures, but they're not detailed. And then the animals, sometimes you can't really make out what type of animal it is. So I would just say he's good at drawing um, the outline of the United States of America. That's pretty much what he can draw. Um, I would have to say Tony draws animals better. Actually, you can't even tell if they're animals or people, so I really don't know. I think he probably draws animals better than he draws people. He doesn't have Kim's t-shirt ability, and um, but it, his, his animals they, they're a little bit more more um, understandable when they're on the board than people. He gets his point across better, unlike his um, child support. Some type of snake. Pig? A cow? A vicious Amoeba. dog? <laughs> Same from Tremors. Chicken? It's a man-eating worm? Tony, when it comes to Pictionary, I think you draw people the best. Stick people, you can understand, but some of your animals are kind of hard to figure out. I think Tony can draw stick people better than animals. Because seriously, dude, those animals are almost as bad as mine. Tony's pictures really suck. Cookie. Yes. Smiley faces. A bug. Oh, gee. <laughs> from Woodstock? Two face? Is it two face? I don't know what those are. <laughs> You're not good at drawing pictures or animals. Um, never really been on Tony's team, so I get to see from the other side of the table, basically. Been on his team one time, never, uh, we were on the team, I think, the first time, and after that, it's just, I get to sit and watch while everybody else tries to guess. Drawings? You call those drawings? <clears throat> Tony's pictures really suck. I have to know what that is. train wreck waiting to happen on the United States of America. I don't know. God, I don't know what this 
Like, um, um, uh, I don't track. know. Railroad? This is a torpedo. <laughs> what the hell? What do I think you can take along with you um, that you've learned in Pictionary to your new job? I think the ability to laugh at yourself, laugh with others, have fun at work, um, communicate through a different style. If somebody isn't getting your drawing one way, can you can you make them understand another way? Um, Pictionary skills to his new job could be helpful in, in team building and you know getting everybody acquainted with each other. Um, but most of all, learning that uh, can teach people that negative reinforcements do not work, and that um, you should really be positive when you're in a team environment. I hope you can take these skills with you in your new job and show them that you can grow and prosper and be a top-notch accountant. I think that can help you in your new job with our drawings, especially being on my team, is learning how to think outside the box because a lot of times my drawings have nothing to do with what it is I'm trying to get you to guess. And that's why I think me and you make great team members because neither one of our drawings make a lot of sense, but people guess them. Well, I don't know if we should be taking any Pictionary skills over at a new job. Um, but, I mean, hopefully they play over there, but I, I just don't know. Uh, from Pictionary, Tony should probably take uh, always trying to think outside the box. And, uh, yeah, always... Uh, going from a different angle than anybody else because it seems like that's always been really good for him especially whenever he's looking at something someone else is drawing since he always goes way out from nowhere and it normally seems to work better for him than anybody else seriously dude you can take your pictionary skills that you learn in our intense competitions and use it in your new job to compete with the other accountants and come out on top um, I mean, definitely, you know, me and him had a really good friendship and everything outside and at work, and uh, hopefully he does really good and gets what he wants out of his career and everything goes pretty far. Tony, we hate to see you go. I know you're going to do very well in the future. You have all the qualities. You're going to be missed, and just remember the number one rule. You must stay in touch. Take care, and the best of luck to you. Tony, I hope you do great in your new job. We're going to miss you here. We're going to miss your personality and your antics, and I hope you do great and, and you're successful in your future. Yes, my one wishes for you, Tony, is um, I've only known you for a short, brief time, but I've learned a lot from you, and I wish you well and good luck with your new job. We thoroughly enjoyed having you here at work. We wish you the best in your with your new company. Um, and we hope that they're half as fun as we were here in finance. Uh, Tony, we wish you the best. Um, I hope that this job takes you where you want to go and gives you the experience you're looking for and you really enjoy it and hopefully you'll get to go to Brazil and, uh, and have lots of fun and learn, learn some Portuguese. Yes, Tony, I wish you all the best in your new job and don't ever forget everything you've learned here. I do. I wish Tony the best. I hope he takes his witty personality with him and acts just the same at his new job because um, he's really funny. I like Tony. I'll miss him. I'm moving on.